Hi, so today we are going to look at experiment part of the solar geometry sets of experiments and this experiment is titled shadow study. These are the um, equipments that are going to be required for this experiment. This is the base panel that we have here uh, that will be, we have used for a lot of these experiments. Then there are house the, the scaled house components which include the uh, walls, house walls, the scaled house walls, the scaled house roof and the scale house base. So we can see that there are a lot of, um, uh, there are a few panels here uh, with, with different window configurations of, of walls etc. Uh, and these are going to be useful for this experiment. Additionally, we also have the the pins that are going to be required to assemble the house that we are going to assemble for this experiment. Now the idea for this experiment is for the students to understand the simulation of a shadow of a building. So when we design a building, it has an impact on its microclimate. Um, and what does what's that impact? Um, so the shadow throughout the day, what, what's the shadow profile of the building? And that's um, once, they, once the students perform this experiment, they will have a visual understanding of this, this shadow profile of that building on this current day. So that's the uh, long term outcome of this experiment. So we are looking at the assembly of this experiment. To start the assembly, I will first take the house base. Here you can see uh, this base is written here. So this is the house base. Uh, we will place this base inside the circle that is provided on um, the board here, base, base panel here. Then <coughs> we will start assembling the house. So I've taken uh, the configuration of two windows and uh, two window uh, windowed walls and two plane walls. So this is the configuration I have taken from the kit. We can choose any configuration we want of the available uh, walls. Now we will start assembling the, the house here. Couple of things to keep in mind. This is top, this is bottom. We have, to, we have to keep in mind the top side needs to be on top and bottom side needs to be on bottom. And this grid that we have here needs to be outside. So keeping in this in mind, we will start assembling the house. So for, for assembly, we need to uh, put this notch inside this hole that is provided here. So this is one. Then we take the clip here that is provided and we check whether there is space here or not. You can see there is a, a little bit of space provided. So then that would mean this side of the clip would go inside. If there would, if, if there were no spaces here, then this side of the clip would have gone. So, to make up for the space, I will insert this side, and I will insert another window here, top bottom clip inserted inside the base. So this assembly, one side is, is done. I'll take another side, this one, again top bottom, clip here, clip, no space, put this, uh, there's no space here. This assembly is done, this side is done. And the fourth side, I'll take the blank blank wall, put it outside, take one clip, there's gap here, I'll put it accordingly.
these walls are assembled now. This is a precision fit, so that would mean that we have to be a bit careful while doing the whole assembly. Then we take the roof and we match all these four points with the roof. This is the assembly of this experiment. We are looking at the procedure of this experiment here. Uh, as you can see, we have arranged uh, this board according to the north here. Uh, and we have also chosen this orientation of the house. So here you can see it is set up in a particular orientation from here. Now the sun is coming from this side. We have to look at the shadow of this structure at this day and time. So today it's 20th December in Pune and the time is around 11.30 a.m. Um, and this will give me the uh, shadow of the structure at this time. Now, to look further, we'll just close in uh, a bit and we'll see at the shadows now. So we are getting one shadow, uh, shadow of one edge from this side and this is the shadow here and this is extending till this side here. Uh, the first thing that we are going to do using a protractor is we will measure the angle of this shadow that we have. So the angle is 67 degrees. This is my first angle and we will also measure the angle of the opposite edge This angle is approximately 25 degrees. So we have, once we have gotten both these angles, we will also measure the length of both these shadows. So this length of shadow is around 205. 207 mm that is 20.7 centimeter which is 207 mm this length is this much and this this shadow length from this side is eighty three mm so once you have gotten these lengths and these angles these are giving me the shadow profile of this structure here, which is a 200 by 200 by 200 mm cube, um, we can also. So once we have these lengths um, and these angles, we have the shadow profile of this house, which is a 200 by 200 by 200 mm cube. At this time, um, we can also draw this whole profile on paper. Uh, just to uh, to be uh, to understand this even better now if we have to estimate the shadow profile uh, at the same date and time of an of an actual building we just have to scale these dimensions um, by taking the actual building dimensions what we have gotten from the design and accordingly scale up the shadow lens that will give us the shadow profile of an actual building which will again be helpful in the microclimate design and understanding of the shadow profile um, once we do that. So that's the, the objective and outcome of this experiment. And uh, the students will develop a visual understanding of the whole shadow profile of the building. We can also do it at different uh, times of the day to see how the shadow profile of this building changes.